I'll also show you real quick how I do the PO4 tests. So I use Red Sea. Um, I use Red Sea tests for pretty much everything. Um, so yeah, you've just got your test kit. You open the box and you should have your PO4 Part B, your PO4 Part A, little jar thing, whatever you call that, and your card. Um, I don't think you actually get a syringe with these, so get yourself some of them. Um, get your water ready. So you want to put your <clears throat> tank water in. You actually need 17 mil, so I'm going to go and get another 7 mil. Then you want to put your part A in. It's really straightforward because I mean it even tells you on the front here to 10 drops. So get that open. Count your drops in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty seven hundred and three. Ten. Give it a swirl. I can swirl that I'm have to do this one. Get it all mixed. I'm supposed to do this for ten seconds while awake, so if you need to count all the oil then no bother. And you want to add two drops of PO4 part B. This is only for the Red Sea test, by the way. Don't get applying this to any test you've got. You should always have your instructions with your test. Two drops of that. Mix it up. Actually, you could probably just put your lid on it now. Leave it on your card. Now you've got the best bit, which is waiting six minutes. So, do whatever you see fit to do in those six minutes. Whatever takes your fancy. How long has it been now? 30 seconds. Fucking hell. Right, so once your six minutes of pure bliss are over, you can check what your uh, liquid's telling you now. So what a lot of people do with these, which is wrong, is hold the liquid up against the card like that. Really, you know, it's just two holes here. The idea of that is, is to put this over, take the lid off, and look straight down at it. So, but I can tell you now that this is somewhere in the region of zero to zero point one, very low. Right. Show you from this angle. So you can see, you could probably agree that that's anywhere in the range of zero to zero point one. I don't mind it going anywhere up to point two. I just don't like to have super clean water. Okie doke. But just a little side note to add to that, uh, the end of this last video about the PO4 tests. Um, if you've got a, a load of algae and you're sort of uh, getting a bit confused or worried because you're doing the PO4 test and they're coming back low and yet you've got this algae, um, it's the result of that um, excessive growing algae that's given you the low reading basically you've got you'll have a bunch of phosphates because the fact of the matter is, is like I say the algae is actually growing um, consuming the phosphates so basically if you get that algae out of there then you can go ahead and uh, resume your testing and it'll give you a more accurate test um, as long as you've got a lot of algae and it is growing it's, it's going to skew your tests so something to bear in mind